Hi you guys! Welcome to my channel. I am Amaya and this is Amaya's World of Colors. If this is your first time coming to hang out with me, hey! If this is not your first time, look, I like you, you like me, go ahead and subscribe, honey! Y'all, I know what y'all thinking. Where you been at? <laughs> Girl, where you been? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Y'all, we gonna get into it, okay? We are gonna get into it. I'm gonna give y'all a little update about where I've been, why I have not been on here. And we're going to also do a quarterly, monthly review type thing. I have been watching a couple of people that have decided to go that route. I decided a little while ago to do that as well. Just not doing it every month, just do it kind of quarterly. So we're going to get into that as well, as well as my whips and my diamond painting plans coming up, you guys, okay? I decided to set some goals. Aren't y'all proud of me? Y'all proud of me? <laughs> yes. Okay. So first thing, let's get into this life update. Y'all, I just didn't want to diamond paint. It's just that simple. Like, I lost my diamond painting bug. Um, I did not want a diamond paint. As you can see still on my diamond painting table back there, that is still Willa. Yeah, and we'll get into that in a minute. I just was not wanting to diamond paint, y'all. Nothing crazy happened besides just life. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I don't know if you can co completely see it, but my, my craft room looks a little different. So I did remodel my craft room. Stay tuned for that video. I am going to show y'all a tour of my craft room. I finally got it, you guys, so how I love it. It looks amazing in here. Um, as you can tell, it's probably a lot brighter than what you guys are used to sitting in my background. So yes, I am excited to share that um, with you guys. So stay tuned for my craft room video. Um, craft room tour, excuse me, craft room tour. <laughs> so yeah, I just did not want to diamond paint, y'all. Like I um have come to, but i have come to the realizations that i don't like portraits y'all don't come for me okay i don't like portraits like because once i do the face i change the skin make it look like i want to do after that it's boring to me so i have come to the realization if it's a portrait it has to have a lot going on in the background have to be very colorful for it to hold my attention because it's a difficult thing for me to finish once I complete the skin and the face. Once I do that, I'm done. I don't want to do it no more. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want to do it no more. I started Willa for the event of People of Color event, uh, the Black History Month, I believe, is what I started that kit with. That was what, February 1st? It's April. She's still not done. <laughs> She's still not done and completely took my mojo away. So, yeah. I decided that we're just gonna be honest about the things that you like to do amaya and portraits with boring backgrounds it's just not one of those things for you so i have definitely determined uh came to the conclusion that just because you love an image doesn't necessarily mean that you need to get it so it's like okay you love the image it's beautiful right it looks gorgeous but the second question to that is will you actually diamond paint this is and I have to make sure that I'm asking myself that you guys want to save money not buying canvases that I know that I'm not going complete or to do what I have been doing is starting a kit because I love the image and then it takes my mojo away because it bores me it, it burns me out okay so I just decided that I'm not going to do it I'm just going to be real with what I like and stick to that <laughs> and stick to that and any portrait needs to have a lot going on in the background so yeah, that's what's going on. So let's go ahead and look at the kits that I did complete for this year of this last quarter. So the quarter would be January, February, and March would be the months that I'm going to cover. And I'm going to tell you my, I'm going to show you my whips. And I am going to show you what I plan on diamond painting. So hopefully I will be finishing Willa. Don't know if I'm going to do it right now. But I do need to start on a kit that me and um, Diamond Shine with Shanta, I'll have her channel linked by, down below. Me and her plan on doing under and over. I think that's the name of it. Um, I'll show it to you in this video. But me and her plan on doing that kit together in the month of April. Today's the 15th, I think, 14th. Haven't started on it. 
but I do plan on starting it, getting it up tonight so that I can go ahead and start on it. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at these kits. Okay, you guys. So this is the first one that I am going to show you. This is Sweet Little Demon. I've got this kit from Jada Gym Shop. I'm just going to slide her up and down so that y'all can see her. She measured at 50 by 70 centimeters. She had 50 colors. I did add my own ABs to this kit, as you can see here, and a couple of other places in the background over here in the flames. I did go ahead and change a few things here. Now, I started this kit on, y'all, it was a long time ago. <laughs> on February 9th of last year, and, hmm, is that right? No, that's not right. No, no, no. I started this on April 25th of last year, and I finished it on February 4th. So that is Sweet Little Demon. She came out so beautiful, y'all. I absolutely enjoyed working on this kit. It definitely make, made me want to order more for Jada Gym Shop. Her drills are amazing. Definitely one of the top companies in the game for those drills, y'all. No exaggeration. She came out great. So that is her. And don't worry, I'll insert a pan over of her. Oh, she's so gorgeous. So pretty. So matter of fact, let's just go ahead and insert a picture of her completed. I'm going to insert it now of the full view on the screen so you can see how she looks in all her glory. But yes, I will link the full post review for this kit down in the description below so you guys can get the further details. But that is the first one that I'm going to show you for my completions. Now let's get into the next one. Okay, you guys, so this is the next kit that I completed. This is a custom that I got uh, made for my husband for the event that I hosted this year in January called Beards and Muscles. Overall, it looks great. I love how I added the um, the metallic drills here for his armor. It came out so good with those metallic drills. He looks good. Overall, it looks great. I did have to do a lot of alterations with this kit, and I had a lot of issues with it. Um, but I will link the post review down in the description below so that you guys can go check that out if you want further details. But I... Um, I ordered this from Orion Stone Goddess. When you order a custom, she does give you the option to name your kit. So I went with My King. This was measured at 65 by 65 centimeters, 54 colors. I started this on January 1st for the event and I finished this on January 26th. So this was actually the first kit that I completed for the year. So there we go, and I'll insert a picture of him, of how he looks totally completed. And as you can see, you guys, that's still that little spot right there that I did not finish, because if you look at my post review, I go into how I ran out of drills, and I was just so upset and over of this kit that I left that portion un um without drills on it. I was just over it. I just, just goodness, I was just so over it. <laughs> I, it still was kind of sticky. I may go and just go ahead and fill that in. It's just 310, but I just, I was over it, y'all. That's how over it I was, that I just left it there. I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I didn't too much care for the pink spots on the skin. Like, it was like this area here and then the forehead. Didn't care for those spots either. But yeah, I will have the post review link down the down below. Now, Rhinestone Goddess, if you're not familiar with her, she is a company based on Facebook, but I will have it linked down below just in case you want to check out her company as well. If you do order for her, you guys, I recommend rounds and not squares. All right, let's get into the next one. Okay, you guys, so apparently that was the only two kits that I've completed this year. <laughs> But that is fine. So this is my whip that I have, you guys, that I'm going to, my focus whip is what I'm going to say. And this is Willa. I, again, I started this kit on February 1st um, for a People of Color event. Now, as you can tell, I very much so changed Willa's skin tone. I made her... I uh, used a, I used a pretty brown to color her skin. I also changed... 
oh excuse me for the shaking you guys the yellow ab under here under her hat as well i changed the feather to be completely gold feather i also put ab's here and her fringe on her sleeve but yes you guys this is not finished that is literally all that i have completed i don't have much you guys but willa is a big one she is a big one she is wide as well so um just to give you some information from this one this one is from diamond art club she is measuring at 70 by 89 centimeters like i said she is pretty large she's she's a wide kit she has 43 colors a square full full drills and like i said i started on february 1st and she is still a ongoing whip but yeah i think she looks amazing though y'all her skin tone came out really good i love the contrast of the gold feather um what's that called a quill um what's that a quill y'all y'all know what i'm talking about put it in the comments what's that is that a quill <laughs> am i saying that right <laughs> But yes, so she looks really good, y'all. I just need to finish her. So, like I was saying, well, it's beautiful. She's a very lovely image. I love um, this artist, Michael Jelena. I love her work. She looks great. It's just, it got so boring after I finished all the changes. Like I did, started at the top, which I shouldn't have. And I got through all of the beautiful changes that I wanted to make. Got the skin done, looking good. Got the red pop in the lipstick and it got boring <laughs> and I was bored. So this is the, where I came to the realization that Amaya, you really don't like portraits like um, unless they have a whole bunch of different things going on in the background and you just need the face facts. So, so yeah, but that is Willa. She looks amazing, y'all. She looks so good. I'm going to leave her right there so that y'all can see her pretty face. Now, on to my um, next project that I plan on doing. I am going to grab that for a second. Let me see. All right. So, I plan on working, kidding this up. This is over and under. Can y'all see that? There we go. This is over and under. This is the next kit that I plan on doing. I think that's kind of upside down from y'all for y'all. Hold on. Let's try it this way. Oh, oh, bumping you. Sorry. There we go. So I plan on kidding this up. It has a lot going on. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, this is a square. It is by Mark Gregory. And I just absolutely love this one, you guys. So I am going to kit this up and start on this i think it has enough to keep my attention so that i don't get burned out it has a lot of different images um little creatures in it so i think i should be okay so that is my plans of what i'm going to do and like i said you guys definitely stay tuned for my craft room tour video so that i can show you all of the changes that i made to my craft room and also you guys i want to say Thank you for sticking around for those that stuck around. Um, I noticed that I lost a lot of subscribers in reference to the diamond painting in. Because if you notice, I do still, I have been posting my cross stitch updates, um, but not my diamond painting. So because of that, I did lose a lot of subscribers. So those that stuck around with me and just kind of waited it out, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for being supportive for me. I appreciate it. Um, but that will be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.